Well, it's coming up on 2023, and since 2020 was so awesome, as was 2021, and of course 2022, well, you know 2023 is going to be awesome, right? But wait, before we go into the new year, what do we actually know about New Year's itself? In many areas, they used to celebrate New Year's in March to coincide with spring and the new life it brings. New Year's has been celebrated for about 4,000 years, but Julius Caesar was the one who made it official. He decided that the calendar needed an overhaul, so he added 67 days to the year 46 BC, making 45 BC start on January 1st. Side factoid, Caesar was actually the one who suggested adding an extra day to February every four years. All right, let's leap on to the next one. Because of the international dateline, you can see two New Year's in one day with just an 18-minute flight. Samoa is one of the first places to celebrate New Year's. But for around $200, you can catch a flight to American Samoa, which is one of the last places to celebrate it, and work your way into two New Year's kisses. And of course, what kind of New Year's would it be if we weren't in Times Square? Well, prior to 1904, it would have been just plain normal. In 1904, the owner of the New York Times decided to celebrate the opening of his company's headquarters on New Year's Eve at one Times Square. But it wouldn't be until New Year's 1907 into 1908 before the first New Year's Eve ball drop took place. And the tradition of dropping a ball had actually been around in cities for years. They used to drop a ball at noon to help incoming ships adjust their clocks to local time. But a lighted ball isn't the only thing that's dropped on New Year's Eve. They drop a pickle in North Carolina. In Folly Beach, South Carolina, they drop a flip-flop. And in Alabama, they drop a 12-foot moon pie, even though the moon pie is made in Tennessee. Oh, and if the thought of a moon pie makes you hungry, be sure to eat leafy greens and black-eyed peas for luck. Or as they do in Spain, eat 12 grapes to represent the coming 12 months. And finally, what kind of New Year's little did I know would it be if it didn't get a little bit... naughty? If you're in Italy, you'll want to put on your red skivvies. Red underwear is said to bring good luck in the romance department. Oh, but there's more. Wear blue for wellness and health, yellow for prosperity, white for peace and happiness, and pink if you want harmony. Huh, apparently romance is in the cards for me this year. So there you have it, folks. The ultimate little did I know guide to New Year's. No matter where you decide to spend it, what you decide to eat, or what color your skivvies are, here's to 2023 being better than 2022 and 2021 and 2020 obviously 2019 for central oregon daily news i'm meteorologist scott elness 2017 hmm, gosh i don't know